Example 1.2 How much positive and negative charge is there in a cup of water? See in this question right it is assumed that a cup of water contain 250 gram of water okay but in some of the exam the mass of the water in the cup is different okay so in NCRT solution it is assumed that one cup contain 250 grams of water okay now in the question it is asked that how much positive and negative charge is there now we know that the water molecule H2O is made up of two hydrogen and one oxygen one hydrogen has one proton and one electron so two hydrogen has two proton and two electron that is here for hydrogen two hydrogen we have total two protons and two electrons and if we talk about oxygen then oxygen has eight proton and eight electron that is each molecule contain 10 proton and 10 electrons okay so if we find out how many water molecules are there in cup of water then we can find out the total positive and total negative charge so let us assume one cup contain 250 gram water now we know that one mole of water one mole h2o is always equals to 18 grams right so uh, one mole is equals to one mole of h2o is equals to 18 gram right then we have 250 gram so 250 gram is equals to how much how many moles right see we know that one mole of h2o is equals to 18 gram then let's say we have n mole is equals to 250 grams so we want to find the moles of water okay by finding moles we can find the number of molecules okay now we will make n as a subject so 250 divided by 18 so this is the moles of h2o in the 250 gram of water therefore the number of water molecules now we know that one mole is equals to 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 anything if you take one mole then the number of if you take one moles of molecules the number of molecules will be equal to Avogadro number. So one mole contain one mole contain Avogadro numbers of molecules. So n mole contains how many molecules? So again number of molecules is equals to mole into Avogadro number. If we have two mole, then two into Avogadro numbers of molecules are there. Okay. So therefore number n number of molecules is equals to moles. 250 by 18 into Avogadro number. So here it is Avogadro number. So if you multiply, you will get 83.64 into 10 raised to 23. Means in 250 gram, that is one cup of water, we have 83.64 into 10 raised to 23 molecules of water. Now we know that one molecule contain 10 proton and 10 electron that we have seen already, right? So total charge contain and the total positive charge is see how many molecules we have we have 83.64 into 10 raised to 23 molecules of h2o are there now each molecule contain 10 protons so into 10 e okay so the total charge enclosed is equals to uh, this is n n is the total number of molecules so how many protons are there each molecule contain 10 protons so into 10 right so it is 10 into n where n is this number into the charge because we know that q is equals to n e right so here n is the total number of protons so how many protons are there total number of molecules into 10 and how much charge of one proton is e right so it is 10 into the value of n and the value of one uh, charge of one proton or electron if you multiply you will get 1338 into 10 raised to 4 which is equivalent to 1.34 1.34 into 10 raised to 7 so this much charge positive charge is contained in the 250 gram or we can say one cup of water as the water is neutral so number of uh, protons is equal to number of electrons means total number of positive and negative charge are equal